Are we recording yet? Okay. So the firewall. All right. So yeah, we're talking about the work on the firewall. And uh, before I actually welded in the plates to smooth it out, I had to fix the firewall because it had a real nasty uh, rust all the way through where the wire harness, wire harness uh, yeah. sat. So after I welded in that, I had only welded in a small section here to cover the distributor area because I knew I was going to go with the LS engine. And then once I sat the, the body on the frame, there was just a little bit of a gap that I didn't like. So that's why I went ahead and brought it all the way down. So the engine sits about right here now. Uh -huh. So I like that all this is going to be flat on top of the engine. There's not going to be nothing in the way. So this is a two-piece molded firewall. It's a two-piece molded, yeah. Okay. So the, the, what I did extra was uh, after I welded it in, there was, there's a lip that goes down here. Mm -hmm. Originally, I cut off that lip and then I had to cut the body mounts to weld in a, a cage so it was nut. flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to weld in the cage nut on the inside. And then I welded in a plate and then, you know, did all the body work. And, and I wanted all this to be molded. Mm -hmm. All of this right here. I didn't like the lip. It, it looked, I just yeah. didn't like it. So this one's got it's we got the molded body mounts. Molded body it's mounts. got the holes for vintage air already. Vintage air you holes. cut that. Yep, yep. It's got the hole for the American Auto Wire. American Auto Wire. You got a Newport, Newport. wiper harness. Yeah. And Newport so the firewall's all molded. All molded completely. And then we Oh, then I also welded, I also molded molded it in up here. Yeah. Cuz whenever you open the hood, you can see a little bit of this. Right. And right now this is in 400 over clear cuz we had some imperfections that we, yeah. we're going to be redoing. So then on the dash... And then on the dash, what I did over here is I, uh, I cut out the speaker grill and I welded in a new plate and then I body worked this whole area. So it's it's nice and flat now. I didn't I didn't realize the amount of work that was going to go into it. <laughs> but after I got it in one color, I liked it. Uh -huh. It was a lot better. And I drilled the holes for the Autotronic Eye. Uh -huh. and, and this one you got, you got Dakota. I got a Dakota, Dakota dash. digital dash. Yeah. Dakota you got a you got a I did it that we already painted. You got the power seat. Power seat. So let's talk about the moonroof. Okay. Well, let's talk about the AC. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll cut the holes for the AC yeah, also. Yeah. This was a pain in the ass because this car did not come with the AC from the factory. So I had to cut out the molds. I mean, I had to cut out the holes for the AC vents. They fit nice now. That was a pain in the ass. And you have the vents. I have the vents. Okay. So man, so that's a lot of work on the dash that goes unnoticed. Unnoticed, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Molded, cut the speaker grill out, molded the dash, yep. and cut AC holes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And the roof, do you know what it came out of? Yeah, I, I took it out myself. I cut it out of a '88 Lincoln Town Car that I found at a junkyard. Okay. And that was just a coincidence. I have been looking for that roof for quite a long time. So that's for those that don't know, that's a 44-inch roof. Yeah. I believe it's the biggest moonroof ever made. Yeah, it is. So, so you cut you you, you got the skin with the roof, yeah, and then you grafted the skin onto this. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I welded it all the way around and worked it, and then reinforced it, made brackets, and uh, everything's already test fitted. And it worked out really well. And the roof, yeah, the roof's already been fitted and everything. Mm -hmm. So, so how many? So how? So would you do a roof again? Because I've done one, and it's all you got a lot of high spot right here. You have to knock down when you graft the skin. You have a big dip that happens right here, and you spend a lot of time blocking the roof. Man, I got so many hours blocking that thing, welding it, you know, cutting, cutting, measuring. It's just so many hours, so many hours. Uh, I, I might do it again. <laughs> Maybe once it's painted, I'll change my Okay, so then on this, we re you replaced. Yeah, on this, this section was rotted out when I bought the car. So everything from here down, I replaced it with metal from here and then all the way down up to here. All this was rotted. And you made that metal? I made it. Because I don't think they sell that piece. No, they don't. I, I made it, you know, just with a hammer and steel on the edge of a concrete. You know, I got it as close as I can. Welded everything in and then did the body work. And it worked out great. And this, this little dip right here, is crucial for this area because the trim will not fit if you don't have this little dip here. If you just if you just weld in a flat piece all the way down to here, the yes. trim is not going to fit. That's going to be pushed off. Yeah, it'll so be pushed off. Yeah. So the quarters. Yeah, on the quarters, I had to rebuild the bottom section. Everything from here down was rebuilt, and it's rebuilt from the from the inside out. So okay. I had to rebuild the rockers on the inside, 
And then on uh, rear velvet rockers, I got these new corners. And then once I did that, I 415 everything on the inside and then uh, welded in the new sheet metal here and then right here. Right here all the way down. All okay. that's new sheet metal. Mm -hmm. yep. and the trunk pan. The trunk pan. The center pan is replaced, obviously. Yeah, this, this whole floor right oh, the here. Whole, the whole entire floor. The whole floor is replaced. Uh, the floor, the tub, the tail pan, the, the lock, these pieces here, and then these corners right here. They're all, they all been replaced. Both sides? Yeah. And you've already lined, the, tr the trunk and everything has already been yeah, tested and all that? Yeah, the trunk's already been lined up, and it all fits. The only thing original here, the shelf is original, and the wheel wells are original, which I did have to... Um, Wrote in some new new pieces on the on the wheel wells. And that's a Raptor liner. That tinted is tinted Raptor, Raptor liner. liner. Tinted Raptor liner. Same, Same thing that's on the floor. Yeah. And also underneath on the. Yeah. We didn't get a video of that. But no, the whole underside was done in, in Raptor liner. Red Raptor liner. Yeah, that stuff is. So we picked that over over paint. We could have we could have painted it, but this is much more durable. Yeah. Um, um, and as you can see, the floor pan is all Raptor line. Yeah. The only, the only thing I had to replace on the floor was that section over there. So let's talk the about pressure. the tunnel. Okay, so the tunnel, I'm running a, um, a 6L80 transmission and it was it was too tall. If, if y'all, is anybody familiar with that transmission, it's kind of boxy. So it, it was rubbing on the area. So I had to cut a flap pretty much and then rebuild that section around there. So it'll clear. It'll, it clears now, yeah. So you say you got about, so, so just in body working alone, no, we're not talking sheet metal. We're talking once this, once the sheet metal's in and you're smearing filler, about a thousand hours. Yeah, about a thousand hours. And then how, how long do you think in, is metal work? Metal work, that probably took me about, about three months. About three months worth of metal work. Three months worth of metal work. Well, minus the roof, that, that was a whole nother three okay. months on the Okay, so about six months worth of metal work yeah. and then six months worth of body work. To have it in the stage it's in right now, and right now this car is in 400 for the most part. We're gonna we're gonna go over it real quick here, but but so when you you say when you bought the car, you, it had a little rust bubble yeah. that was um, right by the trim. Yeah, it was it was it was covered by the trim. This whole section here. And you're thinking so, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. But once I took the trim off, man, this stuff was, it was running pretty bad. So you know, folks got to understand that if you have a little bit of bubbling, yeah. you can have a little bit of bubbling. You know, down here, a little bit of bubbling right here. You end up, you're going to end up cutting at least this big. At least. Possibly the whole thing. And then rebuild it from the, from the inside, inside out. If you want it That's what we did on this on the '62 uh, inner rockers. Yeah. Inner rockers. So, so this thing is in 400. The dash is in 400. The firewalls in 400. The pretty much the shell, the entire shell is in 400. We're going to go over right now, wash it real good, and. Uh, we're going to be painting this thing uh, next weekend. Maybe maybe just the roof or maybe the entire thing. We're not sure yet. But, you know, I just want to do a little quick video here. When when people are looking at cars, you know, on Craigslist or whatever, and they say, oh, it's in primer ready for paint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's laughable when you say, yeah, right, because, no. This is, this is, this is in primer. This is almost ready for paint. Almost. We're still going to seal it. We're going to use the SPI epoxy for sealer, but when you see these cars and they say, oh, it's in primer ready for paint, man, don't believe it. Don't buy it. And you got the holes cut out for the frame. This thing has already been test fitted on, that, on, the, on the chassis. Yeah, a couple times. Oh. For the engine and then the uprights for the battery rack. So let's look at the door. I think we got the garage open. Huh? Okay. So these doors were, they were, they were original coupe doors, and but they had holes drilled for Super Sport molding. Right, the hole all the way on top. They had just pretty much smeared over these holes, the coupe, sports coupe holes, and they drilled Super Sport holes on the top. And they, they were not small holes, they were <laughs> oversized. So you filled those in, yeah, exactly. then body worked it, and brought the original coupe doors, coupe, right. coupe holes back. Yeah. But that's a pretty hard panel to get flat. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a lot of work. Okay. A lot of work. I did it on the tailgate of my truck. <laughs> In the driveway? In the driveway, yeah. So I welded up all the holes and then did the body work, uh, all the body work on it, and then the you know feather fill and all that, just block, block, block until it was flat. So this is the same color. I mean, we, we already got a video showing that, but yeah. 
we got the chassis in here. So this thing is gonna, it came in on this, on a spare roller and we're gonna paint it. I don't know if we're gonna buff it here or not. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. But it's gonna leave on that red frame in a couple weeks. So y'all stay tuned and thanks for watching.